I've armored up a thousand times for country under the king. <laughs> Many's a tale that I could tell, or song that I could sing. I fought in Beltane's driving raid and struggled for every breath. At Salt Wars End, that castle wars where he almost froze to death. I've had my share of bruises. I've watched the arrows fly. The strangest thing I've ever seen was the man who would, would not die. die. <laughs> He stood a towering seven feet of giant on men. His armor was of twelve-gauge steel. His hide it was of ten. From a land most far away he came, their champion, their king, and many crafty ways he had to make your home ring. The battle lines they soon were joined, and much to my surprise, I was locked in single combat. But the man would, would not, not die. die. We circled round a time or two, then I opened up the show with my loopy lefty rap shot, which is still my favorite blow. He didn't even bat an eye, just brought his great sword down and split my helm completely from the chin up to the crown, for four and twenty fighters fell before this awesome night. Though many blows did land, it seemed that every one was light. light? <laughs> the battle finally over, and by God's own blood he went off to the side to doff his gear. And hammer out the dents. Mm -hmm. The second battle soon began, so I'd get another try, but this time bearing Rhino's Bane for the man who would not die. Now, Rhino's Bane is a special blade, immortal for the owl. And if he hadn't felt the those blows, he'd damn well feel one now. Three feet of her tan, I center drilled, then I hollowed out his head and filled that hold with six or maybe seven pounds of lead. A single blow was all I'd get, so I raised my sword on high and buried it within the helm of the man who would not die. <laughs> Fucker didn't even try to block, just calmly struck me down, and then went on to clear the field of squires, knights, and crown. Amazing there I was why he wasn't stretched out on the dirt, but I guess a headshot does no good when there's nothing there to hurt. <laughs> The final battle in the woods was the last fight of the day. The remaining men all gathered round, bent on their knees to pray. Oh God, if you care for us, please allow your moon to fall. For surely that would be the only blow this man would call. <coughs> As we came up to the hill, a plan occurred which I thought maybe could lead to the death of the man who would not die. For atop this hill there sat a stone, a full six feet in girth. Now gather round, my warriors bold, we'll bring this man to earth. Ten stalwart lads I need with me to strike the final blow. The rest of you will keep him here, occupied below. And when he comes to fight you, from up above will fly this boulder full upon the frame of the man who would not die. Now it happened just as I foresaw. From out the wood she ran, out the woods he ran, and stopped there right beneath us. And according to the plan, the men below fought bravely, while the men above did strain to bring that boulder down the hill onto his alleged brain. <clears throat> the boulder finally stirred to life, and with a final pry, we sent it hurling down the hill towards the man who would not die. Knocking trees from left to right, this fearsome missile sped, and with a final bounce it came to rest upon his head. His arms and legs were all that we could see beneath the stone, and as we gathered round him, we heard our victim groan. Astonished round him about we stood, as day bled into night. We could hear him say one final time, My lord, that blow was light. <laughs>